a Kazadi Films original. Welcome to the Icon Zambia, where dreams come true and icons are made. Aren't you in for a treat? Tonight's theme is Zambia Kuchala. Our contestants get to perform with a live band and they get to showcase the heritage, the rich heritage of Zambian culture. And you, you, our viewers, get to select who advances to the next stage. This is bound to be a nostalgic episode. As the two sets of judges, Ballad Zulu and Wezi, David Kazadi and Ruth Ronnie prepare these contestants to sing a beautiful tapestry of Zambian music. Stay tuned. I am, I am. Welcome back to the studio. I'm here with our esteemed judges. On one hand, we have Team Related. Boo. And on the other hand, we have Team Relatable. Yeah, come on. Now tonight's theme is Zambia Kuchala, and it's all about celebrating Zambia's rich heritage. Team Related, how did you prepare for this episode? We brought everything we know, everything we've experienced, all our intelligence, all our creativity, and all our love to the contestants. Um, at the stage we've reached, there are no real, there are no losers. You know, it's it's a competition; one person will win. But this is a level where the talent is so rich. There are no losers, Wesley, yeah. as they call you, Vicky. <laughs> La vida. Exactly what he said. Everybody's a winner, even if like there's only one champion. But just being on the icon is something that's going to be life-changing, not just for the contestants, but even for us. Interesting. Team Relatable, how did you guys get into this thing? How did we get into this thing? Uh, it was very simple. Um, like you said, there are no losers in this, in this round. Everyone's really good. Uh, we did our best not to come and see their rehearsals, even though it was very tempting to do that. Um, but we prepared our team. We had them meet uh, professional stylists, professional vocal coaches. Uh, so we worked really hard and we worked with a professional band to ensure that they're, they're as prepared as they can be for this stage and level of the competition. Fantastic. So Team Relatable, introduce your first contestant. Fantastic. Uh, I'm extremely excited to introduce to you Howard. He is what we call Zambia's sensation, and he is our golden ticket winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Howard. I come in a society where, uh, like, uh, it's a deep compound, of which whereby uh, during the season we are faced with a lot of challenges. You find, like, everything, let's say, teenage pregnancies, uh, junkies. So uh, there's a lot of motivation, like when you just look around it. So uh, I'm sure whichever ghetto you may go, there are some uh, rules and uh, regulations which you must follow for you to survive in that same hood or compound. And then uh, including in my verse, I'm sure I have some kind of words which speaks about Zambia Kuchala. I never knew that uh, I'm gonna get that golden pass. The only thing that I was ready for was the performance, and uh, I knew it that uh, I prepared something different uh, compared to most of my friends. But uh, I didn't take that for granted. Yeah, this day is so far, you know. So it's not only about uh, Zambia itself; it's about the global. You know what I mean? all over the world. The icon is going all over the world, so it's Zambia Kuchan. The boy. Yeah. Uba is in a fire one, he in a fire one. The chakini the boy in colors in a fire one. The kutini shakadin, so the ship of the other one. Chakuli kulanda sana boy, fire one. T.A. boy, ah. 
Ta po fini bona Avali ko se bon senta ba fide ba mona Ati wada ya ba pesha ne fila mba flatona Imo ikunte wangu wangu songa wabona Kuno ni pefo ba pati ba siba nene po chechi Makolo waka fusa boy ni kungala shi Ati zambia kuchalo pati ba mvela cha pipa Umati sapota tika kumana jeti ziwa Wantu wena kutela sisi mu sapota banzani Aya ni mawani ni kusapota banzani Kai wachikata afuni kapa banzake Sipo peki shua wauza na kai wake Wakulu wakutukana don't get worried Kala chepa ise kosa pipa nga usabeti Na confidence party kwa tifeni weti panji Tabalanga sana para ruku wantu mutu wantu bai Sipa paya one, hii ni paya one Itakirile boy kala zini paya one Na kutilisha kali so ni shipa ya mawani Chakuli kula na sana boy paya one Tie boy paya one Team related sure. and relatable. So, why did you choose that particular performance? Mm, I think, uh, first of all, the song is uh, was done by one of uh, those one of Zambia's greatest hip hop artists, and uh, is one of my inspiration. So, I thought that uh, if I go with it, it's something that uh, I can fuse in my ideas first, and uh, I'll get to know it. Now, for those that don't know who that is, who is that? Slap G. Slap G. King Diesel. Songbird, where is he? Wow. What did you think? I love Slap D. I love this song, and I love what you did. Thank you. I am, I am very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Great stuff. Congrats. Great Thank stuff. You. So you've heard what they've said. Do you think you've done enough to push you to the next round? Yeah, I think uh, I brought in my A game. And uh, even the people out there, I'm sure, they're going to see what I've done. And uh, probably they'll vote for me. And I'm hoping to move into the next round. Good luck. Wish you the best. Yay, Howard. Yeah. Our next contestant is someone really special. His name is Vincent Zuru. I'm telling you, I'm telling energy because music, I'm music myself. So automatically, energy is a variable when you are music. The outfit I'm wearing is Ndiyama Zambians. So automatically, that's why I have to prove myself that Zambia is a I chose a uh, tiger because I am the tiger. Because uh, Nimbo Giants are all about it. those who try to bring you down and you are trying to pull yourself up. Yes, that's the reason why I chose tiger. That was fantastic. Thank you. Yes. So guys, first of all, team related, what do you think of that? And how do you think that's going to push him to the next round? How do you? <laughs> I love the way you look. I love the way you look. Thank you, Mama. And, and also the, the Muhammad Ali thing that he did, yeah? Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. He's fire. The man is on fire. The man is charisma. He's bonfire. <laughs> yeah. Bonfire. Born breasts. Born breasts. Team Relatable, your response. That was very, very energetic. I love, the look is giving. You look so good. Well done. So Born Breasts, have you done enough, do you think, 
to push you to the next level? Yes, I've done enough because I am music. In Indine music, I live music, I wear music, I talk music. <laughs> One breath! Yes! David Kazadi, Ruth Ronnie, a.k.a. Team Relatable. Introduce your next contestant. Okay, so our next contestant made Mr. Ballard cry last time. And today, she's going to lift the roof off of this place. Welcome to the stage, Panjira. So the song I picked tonight was Rachel Music, Mulungua Mayango. And I feel... That song brings out me. Uh, how I express myself in that song shows who I really am. So because I'm doing an African type of song, my outfit also speaks for that. I'm wearing some outfit that has African print and African touch to it. Working with the judges has been a, an a, refresh, a refreshing experience because you know at, at the beginning of the show we never had like that one-on-one -on -one time one-on-one -on -one to talk to them and stuff like that but with the previous rehearsal we had we had to talk to them they told us exactly like these are like amazing people. They tell us exactly, they bring out the best in you. All I can say is, I believe it's a winning league. We are on the positive side. We're here to bring the AM. We're here to win. We're here not to play. That's it. Panjira, fantastic. Team Relatable, what did you think? I'm so proud of you. You did amazing. You look beautiful. Thank you. That was an electrifying performance. Thank you very much. David. I mean, listen, uh, everyone knows Panjira is a superstar. If anyone denies it, they, they live under a rock. Hey. Uh, <laughs> she, she's the girl she thinks she is. And I, I, I want every Zambian, and even people who are watching the show outside of Zambia, to vote for you and keep you in the competition. Mm, okay, so you. listen, if there's anyone worth voting for, it is Miss Panjera. Fantastic. Team related. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have comments. Tell me something. <laughs> Come to you were having fun there, singing a gospel song. 
and I, uh, that's it came out. You're really having fun. It was thank you, thank you, touching sir. us. Thank you. So um, hope to see you in the next. Uh, it's up, the best, not us. Yes, okay. the voters out there. I mean, uh, let's let's speak prophetically. We will see you in the next round. Thank you, okay. very Zambia. Much. Vote thank for you. Panjura. That's it. Thank you, Panjura. Yes, how sir. do you think you did, and do you think you did enough? Um, Mr. David taught me something. He told me every time you're performing, sing from your heart. Believe that you have the passion for it. So I think I just displayed that. Wonderful. Mm. Well, good for you. Thank you. Good luck. And we'll see what happens. Thank you. Panjira. Team related. Introduce your next contestant. The next contestant from Team Ballad and Wesley is Benny. He is doing a very nice rendition of Chameleon's Kaka Balika song, written by Charlie Bravo. It's one of our greatest hits. When you're following Zambian music, it is without a doubt a classic. So I'm very excited to hear what he's going to do and how he's going to deliver on the main show. But we did our thing, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Benny. Being rejected in some certain places, it drew me close to my God just wanting to hold on to him, just him. I'm unique, I'm different, I can never be compared to anybody. That's what makes me Ben better. I think I, I, I loved when I heard Zambia Kuchalo. So I was like, okay, Zambia Kuchalo, we need to be heard that they are Zambian. We are Zambian, we can't just be singing songs from outside countries, Nigerian, you know, other countries. But we are Zambian, so we need to promote our country. Well done, Benny. Thank you so much. Let's hear from Team Related. How do you think he did? I think Benny is always Benny. The thing I like about Benny, he brings himself to the show all the time. He took a risk in the way he just turned the song and made it Benny's song. It was Benny's song, and I like that about him. And I'm urging the viewers out there to keep Benny in the show because he brings something benefied to the show. Mm, thank you. Beneficious. Mm. Beneficious and benefied. Benny. How do, how do you do that? How do you just come up with words on the spot? Mm. You know, I have to think. I have a dictionary of things I have to say. It's <laughs> just you know, relatives, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Team Relatable. Your views? Um, I don't think it was his best performance. I think, uh, and I've not been Benny's best, biggest fan, but I think as the competition evolved, I started getting the Benny idea. I mean, I like the looks, I like what he represents. Um, at this stage of the competition, I expected a bit more. I think um, what I've seen so far from contestants is they're overperforming. It's a bit much, it's a bit 
you know what I mean? And I, I get it. It's the first of its kind and it's, you know, it's the first live voting. So people are naturally nervous and they will compensate by doing too much. I just think if you do stay on and the, you know, the people at home save you, which I'm hoping they do because I agree with Ballot, you bring something quite unique to the show, be Benny, you know? Come back as Benny. Don't overdo anything. You, have, you don't have to impress anyone. Just God already gave you the talent. Just keep it natural. Appreciate Great. it. Thank Benny, you. you've heard the judges. Do you think you've done enough? to push you to the next phase of the competition. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm telling you, I have it. I feel it. Mm. I like the gloves, like the outfit. Thank Ladies you so Ladies and gentlemen, much. Benny! Thank you. The team, I mean, David's team, they encouraged that I do that song because it was going to express my vocal abilities better. Aside from my other job, like music is literally feeding me. It's what I feed from, it's what helps me to help my family, my siblings, because I live with a single mom, so I'm the breadwinner, the firstborn. So Zambia to the world. Um, first of all, it's local, very Zambian. Even the, even the English sounds like Nyanja. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's literally Zambia child. We have a stylist now, which is great. And I think she's amazing. I'm very excited because she's going to come up with something amazing. And I'm really excited. Like, it's, it's my style. So she's bringing things together, which is, you know, I feel like it's going to really express. If I look good, you guys will feel good when I sing that song. You go, girl. Woo! -woo! Yes. Fantastic. I'm watching you, Wizzy. I'm team, you. team related. What do you think about what she did? And and Wizzy, this is a song by you, apparently. No. No. It's a cover by Cantu Bonjo and me, originally done by Kiki and Tiki. But right. the version she did was yours. Not. We're not going to do that. Okay, we're not going to do that. <laughs> okay, so that's right. that. So, I can literally I... just told you it's the three of us. Bombshell, Kanto, and me. Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right, let's, yeah, let's forget. I'll just, I'll, just ref I'll just say. Can I say something? Yeah, uh, There are two in that set that she's done, uh, my grandchildren, but that doesn't bias me. Luhila, you are in team strange people, but Oi. you were spotless. You're always spotless. You hit the notes where they w I want them. You're, you know, the tone is perfect. I like Luhila. I've liked you from the start. Why you chose Team Strange People? You didn't choose it, but we took you there. But um, she chose. for Zambians now who are watching there, she's from another team. Uh, but that doesn't matter. Keep her in the competition. This First is of a all, star. let me start by saying, sorry for cutting you. Let me start by saying yellow is my favorite color. Secondly, that song was covered simply because it's one of my favorite Zambian songs ever written. Kekere is one of my favorite songwriters. Okay, and both the TAP version and the version without the rap, I am obsessed with the songwriting. And I feel like, for me as an artist, it's the way that you personalize the lyrics, you give life to the lyrics, and I think you did justice. Thank you. It would be an injustice for anyone to let you go if I was voting. So I don't know. This team doesn't deserve you. <laughs> you belong here. You know what I mean? Congratulations. Job well done. Thank you. Team. 
relatable. Strange people, toler to what, what tolerable. Seem tolerant. Uh, 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 what's, uh, what's your uh, response to, to them? Uh, listen, we don't do petty fights because you know when you're good, you're just good. Are you understanding? Mm. Uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, um, you haven't heard us campaigning for any of the members of their team. <laughs> <laughs> when you're good, you're just good. Do you know what I mean? And like I said, Luhil is a superstar. Okay? Anyone who denies Luhil is superstardom lives under a rock. Okay? This woman deserves to go all the way to the end. That was a beautiful rendition. I'm so, so proud yeah. of her. Yeah. Absolutely. Without overstating the obvious, mm -hmm. do you think you've done enough? And I think this is a redundant question. Yes. Do you think you've done enough to push you to the next stage? I'm glad they like it. I'm glad they like it. But I had a cough this morning. I'm sure you can hear it. But I'm glad that you guys liked it. And I'm glad that we made you proud. <laughs> well done. Well done. Team related, please introduce your contestant. Our next contestant is Chiting Kole. He's a rapper who raps in several Zambian languages. He's going to give us something originally done by Chef 187. The song is called Court Session. He'll give it his slant. And let's welcome to the stage Chiting Kole. I feel like the episode Zambia Kuchalo. It was, it was a nice twist and very unexpected. Basically, on my part, I didn't really, really even have too many choices, per se, for what song I'm going to perform. But I'm very proud to be performing a song by Chef 187. Judges are okay. I can say, they are on anyone's side right now. They're very professional. That's one thing for sure. But they will let you know exactly what you need to know, where you need to get better, if you need to improve on anything. And they're really good, especially with the coaching skills and everything like that to make you feel so comfortable. It's my world, Kema Kosa Kuba, understand. Mana Yenu Yapusa Nagone Mana Yami. And there are quite a couple of things I can't stand. Give me a good one, I know Kero Kia Vashenu. Mari Yemi Kosa Mega, no ma figa kara. Give me a good kaya, nea, miwa kena yeku kaya. Na presa timo live na miwa mbiga wire. Mwing yego timo kasada boga before it's lit. My boy flame, the dash said, the right for go boy king. My niggas know we're going down. I gotta get it like this. I'm gonna keep it easy. And I'ma do it like that, cause I'ma stay busy. And everything like this and I am looking no good with the word thing on my head like I'm Rizzy and shout out Mr. Balazulu I'm at the top and I go Chulu yeah 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 I Swag. Uh, team relative, what do you think? We have to check with, with, with our enemies first before we come in. You were niche? Yeah, we're waiting. Where's she? Where's she? All right, team relative, uh, team. Irrelevant. Uh, yeah, right. Team irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, hold on. Uh, Chi, if the opportunity came, okay? Look at me, just blink. They can't see your eyes, blink at me. If the opportunity came, I can see, I've, I've got x-ray vision. Okay. If the opportunity came, just blink one eye, to swap teams, would you take it? If the opportunity came. To swap teams, would you take it? Don't, don't look at them, keep your eyes here so they can't see. Just blink one eye. To be honest, like, you know. No, he said just blink, don't. Oh, yeah. just blink oh, one eye. Yeah, just blink. <laughs> okay, cool, I've got your answer. Chi. He blinked. Yes, he did blink. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right? We don't know if he blinked one eye or two eyes. I mean, he blinked. <laughs> Whether he was blinking naturally, we never know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Chi, listen. If the producers of this show decide that they're going to give us an opportunity to steal, yeah? yeah? I implore you to choose a team that's going to harness your talent. Capish? That's what I'm going to say. That was a great performance. Well done. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Team relative. You put it off, 
Thank you very much, Iti. You right. put it off, you were smooth, you are on point, and you even managed to squeeze in our names. I feel chuffed. <laughs> God bless you and your parents. Thank you. Where is he? Well done. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> so now, tell us, uh, Chiti, why did you choose that song specifically? Tell, tell, tell the viewers at home. Well, Court Session is um, a very, very, very legendary song. Very, very legendary song by Chef 187. Very, very good lyricist. It was very nice storytelling in there. So I figured I could just jump on that because of the kick. Shout out to the band as well. Thank you very much. So do you think you've done enough to, to push yourself to the next level? I know I can do better, but then, you know, but I like what I've done. I uh, can't complain, but, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so, you know, it is. All right. Yeah. Leave everything on stage. Yes, Chitty. sir. Chitty. Don't let our next contestant fool you. She's all shy, all sweet, but inside is a fierce lioness. Performing Bona by Sampa the Great. Welcome to the stage, Esmeida. <sighs> I want to be the best artist that I can be and being around them, especially like this, it really helps me to actually know myself more and learn things that I didn't know before. I'm a huge fan of Sampa the Great, of course, and given the chance, I was like, of course, I have to do a Sampa the Great song. I love the vibes. I love how she performs it. So I was like, I think I can give this a try. Uh, they really liked one of my lines in there and it really it really feels good when people are hearing the lines that I'm putting out because sometimes they tend to go over people's heads. So the fact that they caught it, that was that was amazing <laughs> for me. So I'm hoping I really, really do want to get to the best, but you just never know. But I think I'm winning over some hearts, so <laughs> we'll see. About something, trust I'm going in like super saiyan. They want my attention, but I'm just not paid. Got a minute choke hold and I'm breaking it. Best believe I'm the best in the life and this. I'm like, whoa, stay in your lane because I'm taking control. You better wear a sweater because I'm way too cold. Control me because I'm way too bold. As many you'll be stunned now. Ba 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 ba. Yes. yes. Judges, break it down. What did you think? A little short, but it was on point. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I wish it lasted a little longer. I love your look. I love the song choice. I love some for the great. Thank you. I feel you are so pretty and you've got so much energy, but I really wish that it was a bit longer. Maybe because I enjoyed it a little too much. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I wish it was longer. <laughs> Team, <coughs> relatable. <laughs> Simon, you need to get that right, sir. At some point you're gonna it's have to get it right. Isn't it? No, no. It was right. Relatable. It's relatable, isn't it? Is it? Rascals. Yeah. Are you sure? Irascible. Relatable. <laughs> anyway, listen, um, it's made this special, okay? Um, and I'm glad that they thought it was too short. You know when something is so good, naturally people think it needs to go on a bit longer. So that literally means you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm proud. Uh, to the people at home, Thank listen. <laughs> keep Esmeida in this competition. She has so much more to offer. Um, I mean, we had the privilege to, you know, watching her in rehearsal, so we know she, she did, what, 7% of what we saw in rehearsal. But the more the people at home get to see her and get to know her, the more they will realize just how much of a lioness she really is. Really proud of you. Thank you. Esmeida, Esmeida, you've come so far, and I wanted to find out why did you choose that particular song? And do you think you've done enough to push you to the next round? Um, yes, I feel I've done enough. Um, I chose I chose the song because I'm a huge fan of Some by the Great, and I was just like, I need to do the song. I love the song. It's always in my playlist, and I was like, 
Let me give it a try. Wonderful. Wish you the best. Thank Esmeida. you so much. Esmeida. There you have it, Esmeida. The song Ona Mami by J.K. Peterson and General Ozzy. General Ozzy. It's one of our favorite, me and my granddaughter here. So see what Samobanda would do to it and what justice and how he gives it to us. A round of applause for Samo Banda. These people know what they're doing. They know what they're saying. When they tell you the key is high, try to find something more comfortable. In reality, it's true. And they've helped me build so much confidence. Um, I'm so different from the person that was performing then and now. So I've learned so much from these people and I, I respect them greatly. I didn't get the chance to choose, but I'm really glad with where I was put. It's, it, it feels safe. She feels like mommy. She already calls me baby. So we're, all, we're already hugging. And so, yeah, it already feels uh, safe. What do you think? Well, um, I love the energy. You are really feeling the song. And I like the new look. Thank you so much. Nice one. David? I think they, they picked the wrong song for you. I don't think, um, and I, I mean, I, I get the themes, Zambia Kuchala and the rest of it. I just feel this wasn't, the, this wasn't your best performance, not because you, have, you don't have a nice voice. I just feel the nostalgia is nice and happy. I probably can't relate to it because it's way bef before my time. Um, but the song choice and your musicality don't quite go together. I think that's the only disappointment I have with this performance. Thank you. Yeah. Team Relative, what's your take on I wouldn't Samuel? agree. I disagree. Disagree with this guy. I disagree. So yeah. much. I, I really disagree with David's opinion uh, of the choice. I think he did a fantastic job. Uh, he was warming into the song as he was finishing the song. He he came to the finishing line with strength. I disagree that it was a song. It was a great song, and I urge the viewers out there to vote for Samuel because this guy has a nice tone. He has a nice package. He looks this part, and uh, uh, vote for him. Give him a chance to do to give us more stuff. So I don't agree with David. Where's he? For the. The, the work that they are doing and the level of experience that they have in life, I want to tell you I am proud of you, okay? Thank you so much. There's so much pressure, I understand the nerves, but you worked around it, they were, you, you slayed. Thank you. I am proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay? Yeah. Please, if you know talent, you will vote for this guy. Samuel? Why did you choose that song? I mean, David was saying that he didn't think it was the right fit for you. Do you, Ooh. what do you think? Um, uh, you know, criticism is quite good. It, it helps you understand yourself as a musician even more. Um, so I, I do appreciate that, of course. Um, I, I chose the song because 
um, it was the easiest for me to relate to because w- w- my elder sister really loved this song. So immediately I saw Zambia Kuchalo. It was the first thing that came into my mind. So I, I figured my coach would have loved it too. So I gave it a try. Well, I love you. All right, Samuel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was Samuel. Give him a hand. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce you to Zambia's sweetheart, and I don't mean Michi, because her sound and her voice will have you mesmerized, or as Ballad would say, dangelized. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to bring to the stage Danji singing one of my best friend's songs, Extra Time by Abel Chungo. Danji. I sang for the first time when I was 12 at a karaoke in front of adults, because they couldn't sing, so I sang for them. I guess people should know that Zambians are amazing too. It's not just international artists, but we have amazing singers in Zambia. So I want to show them I'm one of them. I hope I make you proud. I know I'm not very confident in myself, but you believe in me that I could do more than I do right now. And Tim David all the way. I don't know how, but they chose people I know, the people that I'm comfortable to be around. I can be vulnerable, I can ask questions, and they don't hide. I know it's a competition, but we help each other. We're helping each other grow. So it's one wins and everyone wins. Mm-hmm. Tell me now what you feel like. If it ain't me, let me leave. Can't be wasting no time Need to know that you're mine And you see that I I need somebody who sees it Somebody in me I I don't want somebody to be just a body for me I I'm looking right deep in your eyes I want all inside of a prize, babe She called me the extra time Team Wesley and Ballad, tell us what you think. Um, you know, my sugar level went up. Sugar level, because she's so sweet. She's so Whoa. full of sweetness. Oh, thank she's you. cuteness, oh, sweetness, all wrapped into one thing. Whichever team you join, you belong to team music. Oh, oh come this, on. This is it, man. I don't even have to urge the people to vote for you. They will vote for you. Well done. Dangelize us, dangelize us, and continue to dangelize. So full of sweetness and cuteness. Amen to that. Amen. Amen. Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Howard Diamba, one of the contestants and the icon. Uh, kindly vote for me by dialing star 488 star 0 star 15 ash. Then I'm game. Hello, hello, people of Zambia. This is Vincent Zulu. 
aka Bon Blaze. You can call me BBC, the Brad Brothers Click. You can please vote for me and pray for me for this number. Guy, ni mo mungan fagay chamo game. Number ni star four eight eight star zero star ten then Ash. Ni chamo ni fagay chamo kuchalo. Watsa isa chiana po mbike nukuchalo. Hi everybody, this is the Icon Zambia. My name is Beatrice Panjiro Kameta. And if you want to continue seeing this face and hearing this voice on this show, please vote for me on star 488 star, zero star 12 hash. If you send that, then you vote me in. Thank you. Up next, Team Relative is going to introduce their next contestant. Raymond is going to be covering one of my closest friends and favorite rappers, Bobby is on a banger called Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Raymond! Um, I guess it's my love for the music, uh, my passion, the motivation that comes from everything that I've been through, that's what drives me. Uh, it means a lot in the sense that um, if rap was a subject, I would have gotten a one. You know, if it was English, math or biology, I would have gotten a one. You have a math, yeah. No, we know, we know. <laughs> At first, I, I didn't get any word from Mr. Balad Zulu like for, on my first performance and my second. And then the third, he told me that the song is what the country needs. So like that really made me feel nice. And Mr. David also told me that's why he said yes. So like just those words, ah, they made me feel amazing. So I guess that's why I'm here today. So yeah. And I love the fact that they are helping us in like every single detail of our performance. So yeah, that's really amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's platinum. Soldier, you're watching an icon. Yeah, being me is a job, so I'm never jobless. You okay when Nick Apondo, let me confess. Mama is a kuni kwesa wa stupid. Me, I'm headed to the top like a rocket. I'm in his state, you sa kile utu mila jati. Ati yo edgy. Disappointment in any matwana nga disini bang and drama. But who's that respect when you fuck about fun? Level see ya. Jamaica, Jamaica. Ah, mommy would see what Jamaica. Ah, and the mupondo Jamaica. Yeah, I wrote this song for Jamaica. Cause in the jiponda ponda fulu maki tua. Jamason, the bali shot number two. Don't be like a chela puma 802. I'm with the crew, bali wana su. Jendele pulon, teti unsange paku. Nifola mustana na machike babu jua. Climax, I feel like I'm on the money, but it never feel a black a black a boy, mind you. Jamaica, Jamaica. And the mupondo Jamaica. Momoziva Jamaica, yeah, I wrote this song for Jamaica and it goes Fantastic. Brilliant. Oh, no. <laughs> David, Ronnie, break it down. What did you think? Ladies first. Well, Raymond, you're one of my favorite rappers in this competition. Thank I you. mean, you're from the corporate belt, right? So yes. I might be a little biased because I'm from the corporate belt too. So I love the culture. And when you just started doing the dance, I was like, yes. You really killed it. I love the way you rap. I love your lyrics. I love the swag. You brought it today, and I'm very proud of you. I wish you were on our team. I really if anything it. ever happens where you get a chance, <laughs> consider it. People out there, please vote for Raymond. He's such a good, good artist. Raymond! <laughs> My God! <laughs> Listen, we are competing with these guys, but I think they've done a phenomenal job. This is on the side of music your look, your delivery, your song choice. And you can dance, Raymond. I'm coming for dancing lessons. <laughs> no, but you, you, Rav, you killed it. I'm just, thank you for coming on the show because without people as talented as you, this show would be useless. Then there's certain people out there who talk a lot of stuff with very bad anyway, who would say stuff about this show. But you, sir, are the reason this show exists. And I'm so, so proud. Guys, put it in there. Well Bro, done. I'm so proud. Well done. Wesley well and Ballad. Well done. Break it down. 
Well, we come from where crybabies were. <laughs> they said break it down, not break down. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm Aww. just so proud. <laughs> I did it for you. Straight up. Okay. Okay. Um, I will speak. Um, since she's going to make me cry, yeah. Raymond, thank you so much. That was really powerful. And for the viewers out there, you need to put Raymond back into the next round so we can see more of that fire, that power, that passion, and that happiness. You're a very happy guy out there. So thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you. Um, can I add one more thing? Raymond, I would love to see you on stage performing with yes. dancers. That's exactly doing, what like, I was imagining. Oh, that's, exactly that's something I can't imagining. wait to see. So I really, really do hope you stay long yeah. enough in the competition yeah. to have the opportunity to showcase your talent like that. Raymond, well Thank done. Thank you very much. Thank they, you. They, they all like you. Yeah. Now, I have to ask you the song choice. Did you, how did you choose that? Um... Oh. I won't lie, it's like one of the most, one of, my, so one of my favorite songs, so that's why I chose it. Yeah, it's okay. part of my playlist, actually. And do you think that you've done enough, I mean, given what the judges have said, do yes. you think you've done enough to, to get through to the next round? Yes, I have, though I want to do better, you know, so that I can top it. I'm never really satisfied with my work, so yeah. Well done. Raymond, all righty, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! It's getting hot in here. Team Relatable, could you tell us now who your next contestant is? Okay, up next we have Arthur the Gent. He's very poetic, so pay attention to what he has to say. He's a very, very good performer, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do with Exiles, Kumvela Nimvela. Welcome, Arthur. So one thing that I believe in is that essentially one has to tell their own story. And so most of the lyrics that I write down and through my rhythm assisted poetry, these are things that are based off from my experiences and the things that I live by on a day to day basis. And that's what inspires the lyrics that I have. It is something that I needed for the longest I've been doing rhythm assisted poetry, which is rap. And um, I've gotten feedback from friends and family and it was about time I got professional criticism. So yeah. It's been very valid and quite impactful and I feel like I have grown as a rapper. The only thing that I can tell you is that I pay particular attention to every single word I say. I'm not just a mambo jumbo rapper who's just rhyming words and whatnot. It's all about conveying a message. At the end of the day, music is impactful. What are we trying to say to the next generation? What are your lyrics? What are you conveying? What's the message behind that? So yeah, look out for all the best content you can and vote, vote, vote. This is Zambi speaking, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, uh, check. It all started when I was young and didn't know a thing. One laugh was a joke, maybe something like a meme. Had no purpose, no vision. Not even a dream, Nenzo Kali Lamocha, believe in life without a theme. Somehow the sun sets out each and every day. I give my best, but my best never met away. Maybe then every path that took led me astray. Had to say a prayer on my knees just to be okay. One thing, then the next. Now I'm getting stressed. There's a lot of things I gotta get out of my chest. I'm the main ego that been chilling in my nest. Though I feel like I've been drowning, so I gotta catch my breath. Question after question contemplating and I'm shaking. Depsha Mopeni thinking through when I'm hurting. The gent. Wow. Well done, Arthur. Thank you so much. Let's sir. hear from the judges, guys. Starting with Ballad and Wesi. What do you think? All right. I admire his uh, radical interpretation of Kumvela Nimbela. It was he who just took it to a uh, your own it just you Thank know you so much, I, I was even thinking is it the same song you know <laughs> yeah you so, so that courage that courage needs to be rewarded and 
uh, my hope is that people out there will see what you did with a song that people just know as a song, but you made it into a, a rap track. Well done. Thank I really you. really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Where is it? I don't know. If I were you, I would have avoided the singing. This song is so iconic because of the hook, right? The entire song is excellent, but it's a legendary hook. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to mess with that, right? Noted. The poetry was beautiful. Thank you so Your much. Your face is beautiful. Thank, Thank you so much. Well done. Stay away from his face, madam. Okay. Can I touch his face? No, you can't touch his face. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, Arthur, the gent. Yes, sir. You know you're my boy, right? That's very you, right. You, you, you made us proud. Okay? Thank you so much. Um, I, I do agree with Wesley. Um, I feel the singing of the chorus, you know, okay, we, we will work on that. You know, these are minor problems. Um, but you're not a singer. You know what I mean? Yes, We're going to vote for you because you're a rapper and you tell amazing stories. Thank so, so where much. we come from, we are absolutely proud of you. And listen to me, Zambia. When Zambia is speaking, you pay attention. Keep right. Arthur in the game. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, Zambia Kuchalo, the theme is amazing. You know, no matter where you go, you gotta, you gotta represent your culture. You gotta represent where you come from. Because where you, where you come from is what makes you who you are. Bees are attracted to vibrant flowers. So I like to look good. I'm not choosy with outfits, but I go with anything that fits me and looks good on me. But it should look representable so that people should at least respect how I look. Because attraction is everything. You look attractive, you attract blessings. It has been amazing. Uh, let me say, the journey has been awesome. It has been very good. I oh, mean, yeah, you, you need to be strong. Facing the judges has been also uh, a fever. <laughs> it's scary sometimes, but yeah, I'm, I'm overcoming that. Little by little, I'm getting used to it. And actually, this is one of my first auditions. I've never auditioned before. Ain't nobody gon' defeat me Told about the jeans Ain't nobody gon' defeat me Head is done with space Now they looking like the Britney Them wanna see me falling But these haters can't defeat me While I be like Kuni Chinga can never All of them are boys Tryna be my screen server All about the queen And I'm all about the paper Munga de kapleta Pali pali Zim ya neipa Shua Troye yi baba Ngani lepa Kani pesa che Dine shine zeli na tempo Dine shin pili pili Ni naya kani na pepa Munga flepa ya pa shisha Dine kwa ni baba nyesha Demo pondo, demo pondo, demo pondo, yes I'm on fire. Demo pondo, demo pondo, demo pondo, yes I'm on fire. Ati le kani pa ichi beat, nilo wanga di na fuit, nilo wanga ni masuti na kavisa pa di ya pakisa hit, ma funo lesa pa meneni shit. Dem wanna shit and I shit, nilo mo covid nineteen da piso fish, shunga di na ninja app, pa di na figure it out, ma hit ya mo tap, pa na ya mo luva, na hit ya paka na ya makuka, pa na ni na mo flow, na sa mo flow, all these niggas still a mother bitch, I'm so damn funny. That was burning hot. Now let's hear from the judges, starting with Dave and, and, and uh, Ronnie. Tell me. <laughs> Anthony, I have no words. Like, mate, what on earth? You are, you are an icon, honestly. And I'm just, wow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Tony, Tony, uh, I, I really, really, really love the way you perform. Each time I've ever seen you perform, I've enjoyed it 100%. Like, I, I would pay to see that. Yeah. Wow, thank you very much. And I'll pay yeah. you in, like, big money. Big money. Not 50 quarter concerts that you see being done in our country. Big money. I would pay to see, to see you perform. I would pay the same amount I would pay for Ballad or Wesley not these upcoming artists. Like, Tony, you are, you are the man that this country needs. You know, we don't want you. We need a Tony in the limelight. So no matter what happens in this competition, you're going far. Wow, Thank fantastic. You. Where's the ballad? She go first. Sweetheart, how do you feel? So amazing, mama. Let me tell you this. I hope that people understand how good 
you are as a lyricist. Yes. Because you were on beat, you were rhyming, and it was making sense. And dancing. You were dancing, yeah. yes. But I think that we need to respect you as an intellect because it takes intelligence to pull off this type of act. Yes, agreed. Yeah. I am, um, <coughs> I don't want to cry again, but I'm <laughs> so proud. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. an emotional wreck. Okay. I am very proud of you. Thank you very you much. You don't know how proud I am. You people don't understand. And shout out to Matthew. That song is fire. Uh, um, it just describes. Are you Anthony or Anthony? You can call me Anthony or Anthony, but there's a TH, so it's Anthony. Anthony. All right. Like Anthony, um, the song you picked, Ndimpondo, and what you did to it, you yourself, Ulimupondo. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very yeah. much. I appreciate it. So, Anthony Hurricane Ramsey. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's what I'm going to call you, son. So Thank tell you. me, why did you choose that song? You know, I come from the hood. I come from the hood. And me coming from the hood, surviving has been a skill. So, yeah. It has been crazy. I've been to ups and downs, but at least I'm here to represent that one ghetto child at home. Yeah. So you look in there, and, and, and I know the judges have given you some rave reviews, but I'll ask the question still, do you think you've done enough to get to the next stage? Yeah, because I'm from doing what I love doing all the time. Anthony, Hurricane Ramsey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Up next. So, um, my musical drive comes from a place that I totally do not know, don't have any idea, but it's just something that gives me freedom and expression. Uh, working with the theme this week is like a challenge because I, I, I love doing my, my own stuff, so being a rapper and a singer, songwriter. So now here is, I have to put out some kind of music, some kind of performance, so that even if a person who's not Zambian and then watches of like, ah. My scary moment was a time that I literally forgot some lyrics to the song, but nobody knew because I was just there, I just freestyled it, and then it just went, oh good, everyone was just like, <laughs> but then I had, I had, um, I lost my words because I became so nervous, so I was scared that maybe the judges had noticed, but then it turns out that I held it down great. What do you think? I want to start by saying, Miriam, I love you. I love you right? too. Right? And I wish that you were on my team. Maybe we would have worked on like vocals, like singing, singing, because I don't think that. Um, let me be very honest with you. When you started singing, I was like, oh, um, uh, I don't know. 
And then when you started rapping, I was like, ah, chills, chills, you know what I mean? And then you went back to the singer, I was like, ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, no. it, it, maybe it required more time, but I love your energy, right? I think that's your strength, and I love this song choice. It felt like it meant something to you. And to look at a powerful delivery from a girl like that, it's very inspiring. Thank For you. me, just work on that, the singing, avoid the singing bits until you're like very conversant very, very with like the style, because it was a bit nasally at some point and stuff like that, yeah. But congratulations. Ballad. We'll start with the music. Um, the same, I express it differently. I was expecting you to rap. So when you started singing, I was thrown off a little bit. So I had to relate to you as a singer first, you know. Yeah, um, yeah so um, some people can pull both off. You have to decide to yourself whether you want to do both rapping and singing. The look, you know, the flower power, late 70s, early 60s, 60s <laughs> that flower power, that look, that look will take you somewhere. Thank you. Thank you very much. Team Dave and Ronnie. <coughs> <coughs> Listen, Miriam, you're a rapper. Big, big man. Yeah, I, I don't understand what's going on. Like, <laughs> they're judging you as a singer when you're a rapper. But opinions are like, I, don't, I can't say on camera, but you know, opinions are like <laughs> that thing. Uh, and we accept it. Uh, but listen, you are dynamite for a reason, okay? And I do agree with one of the things that they said. We felt you, okay? The song meant something to you and as long as it means something to you, the people watching at home, it's going to mean something to you as well. It's a powerful song, and your interpretation of the song makes you what you are, okay? I believe you need to go far, yeah? Of course, if we need you to sing, we're going to work on singing. But I quite liked the fact that you can't sing, and you're basically singing from a passion place. Because what tends to happen when you are feeling passionate about something, whether you're crying, I mean, she was crying earlier and her voice couldn't come out. That's what you were projecting. You were projecting the idea of, I can't sing, but I'm so passionate about what I'm going through that I want to be able to strain myself to sing. That's the interpretation. But of course, we don't expect them to get it. That's why they're on that side of the team. So listen to me, if you're watching this at home, Miriam is dynamite and she deserves to be in this competition because she's the embodiment of Zambia. That's it. Ronnie. Miriam, you made us proud. Your stage presence is amazing. I love how you just, this is natural to you. Like this is a part of you, you're so passionate. And I love the energy you bring to the stage. I love the look too. Yes. And you killed it, you killed Thank it. You. Thank you very much. Miriam, I remember in the early part of this competition, one of the things you said to me was you wouldn't want to be anywhere else except in this competition. Tell me, why did you choose that song? And do you think you've done enough to push you to the next level? Um, I chose, I, I first had options, but then I chose that song because immediately I reached here. I first took this competition for granted. I thought it was just, but then when I saw the talent that was here, I felt grateful because a lot have gone home and then I'm so fortunate to still be here. So for me, that kind of triggered something in me. So I wanted to be thankful because if it wasn't for God and his grace, I would not have been here. Miriam. Yeah. Boom! Thank you. We're back. We're going to hear from our judges, Wesley and Ballad, AKA Team Relative. Who is your next contestant? Team Ballad and Wesley are glad to introduce to you one of the upcoming singers in Zambia, Mr. Richard Ngonde, who's going to do a song by one of the most celebrated Zambian artists, Yo Maps, called Kondwa. So the first thing is the fact that I can sing. And the second thing is, I don't know, I think music is just in me. Let me say that, music is just in me. I am music, me and music are one. So 
so even if Mr. David's look is scary, Mr. Ballard's glasses, those. But me, they don't scare me. Absolutely no way. I have things that scare me. It's the coming of Christ. You get scared. Not Mr. David's look. What's that? Nah. You don't scare me. Not in this life or the next. Um, let me see. I just love how it pretends. That's who I am. Zambia Kuchalo, it simply, it simply means portraying that I am Zambian. Yeah, let me put it that way. Nobody quenzes Mabutona kula na yo, mulungwa na ni dalisa, ni mafunoko, ati suzi ba mwena pita nde, mabutona kula na yo, mulungwa na ni dalisa, ni mafunoko. Team Relatable, what do you think? Um, Richard, you're incredible, okay? And I think you're the youngest person in this competition, aren't you? You're 19. Yes, I am. Um, I have to commend these guys. They, they did a phenomenal job with you. Um, my only, not criticism, because at this point in the competition, we're not criticizing. My only note is when, for future use, because I, I know people are gonna love you and you're, you're incredible. The, your mixed voice, sounds a lot more clearer than your, what do you call it? The, 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 the chest, chest, chest voice? That's the one, yeah? So like, when you start with your chest voice, don't be afraid to, to sort of go into your mix um, uh, register. Because when you do, like, I, I could feel you. Um, but then, like, I, I could also feel restrained, like you were afraid of those notes. So for your next song, don't be afraid. Just go all out. But otherwise, great performance. Thank you. Ronnie. I love the confidence. You're so chilled. That's very, very good. Um, I like the performance too. Team relative. Langa. You guys are being too nice. No, but we liked it. Yeah, we liked it. Go ahead, you want to speak? I loved it. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Mama. Valid. A natural performer represents the future of Zambian music, um, the future of dance. He's, he was relating to the cameras his he was his movement is on point and uh at 19 isn't too young i recorded my first song which is still being played at his age oh wow yeah so it's not too young um and i'm i'm urging zambians he, it's already so were you right yeah she recorded at 19 as well yeah so oh. I'm urging Zambians to, uh, come on, you need to give this guy all the love. You know, this is the future of Zambian music, okay? Fantastic. So young man, tell me, why did you choose that song? Well, I chose the song looking at the generation that we're in now. So the people that are suffering, really suffering, and everyone needs to be happy once in a lifetime. We all get to be happy. It's not that when you're suffering, you won't be happy. You definitely will be happy. So I chose a song to, to give hope to those that think they, they'll, they'll continue suffering. And lastly, do you think you've done enough? Given what the judges have said, do you think you've done enough to, to pull through to the next round? Definitely, I have. Definitely. Good for Most you. definitely. Boom. Go ahead, son. Thank you. Richard, go. 
Richard? Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. He's a multi-talented artist, a lyrical genius, and he's going to be giving us a rendition of J Cash and Yo Maps. People like me, please welcome to the stage, Jarrell Thompson. My journey into music, man, uh, it's been a long one, to be honest, man. Uh, my family has always been musical. My friends have always been musical. It's just one of those things where, you know, peer pressure. So I picked uh, one of the best two, is that correct English? No, two of the best artists um, in the country right now. So I picked a song by um, J Cash featuring Yo Maps. Man, the outfit is booming. <laughs> I have so much faith in the stylist. Shout out, Georgie. I trust you 100% with my life. Mom, don't watch this. Uh, Dad, you owe me a lot of money after we get the house. <laughs> no, man. Um, these people have given us one of the biggest opportunities available and mad love and respect to everybody behind it. And, you know, it's, it's just like an eye-opener to show that Zambians can just merge together and build something from nothing to turn into something beautiful because I feel like this is this is an amazing opportunity for all artists and contenders involved, you know. So guys never lose hope. Keep watching and stay locked in. All of that. Yeah yeah. Wah gwan, wah gwan, wah gwan, wah gwan. Let's do this now. Yeah my thing in it. Put it where go. Warm to wear, baby. Why you say, girl? Let them know. Put it where? That song, who? Baby, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Look, you're not allowed in the huddle if you wasn't there in the struggle. Yeah. Fake friends mean I need that. On the grind, no time for the idiots. Look, been a goon from the get go. Big bank take, you know how the rest go Took flights, never put it on the net though I'm doing good, what the hell I gotta flex for? Look, my nigga take risks, anything to make chips Nigga, you know how my set bro Now my nigga getting rich, you say life is a sh Cause she put you in the friend zone Everybody wanna boss with the fake clout Broke nigga couldn't get sauce at the steakhouse Damn, we ain't worried about the cake back then And we ain't worried about the cake now Super villain when the nigga put the cake down Skinny nigga, but I got a lot of weight now. Yeah, listen, put the breakdown. Run up on the game, ma, oh, this a shakedown. Let them know. I said, let them know. Why you say, baby girl? We feeling pretty iconic right now. We ain't even come here to play games now. You understand? Oh my God, wow. Jarrell Thompson. I need the money gun. I just <laughs> <laughs> from TikTok. Dave, Ronnie, tell us what you think. It goes the other way around, doesn't it? Ballad, Wesley, tell us what you think. <laughs> okay, um, you ooze confidence. You ooze legitimacy. You ooze natural ability. You just. You're just there, you're doing what you come to do. Thank you, sir. Um, I, I like what I've done to your look, but I kind of miss the other Bob Marley. The mop, huh? Yeah, the Bob Marley look. Look, I miss yeah. that. Um, uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, yes, it sir. just it cuts through all the nonsense, and you're, you, you're, you went for the person who you thought was going to take you to Warner Brothers. I hope it happens. Yeah. Yeah, but keep doing, keep believing yourself. Thank, Thank you. you. Where is he? I won't say much, but before I talk to Jarrell, a shout out to the band, please. Yeah. Yeah, that me. was beautiful, the drama. Yeah. Ah, that was, it moved me. Amazing. Uh, you know I love you. I thank will you. not critique you. I just want to say thank you for being part of the show. God bless you. Please don't cry. No, I'm not. You're not gonna cry? No. Okay, you promise? No more tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, Dave, <laughs> Ronnie, your take. You go first. I go first. Mate, you've come for 
everything the industry owes you, okay? I think you've been slept on, but now they're about to wake up in a nightmare because you've come zombified and ready to ravage this. Yes, what you've done, sir, <laughs> just watch what happens. Watch Thank what you. happens. Ronnie? <laughs> well, I loved it, of course. You did Thank so you. well. I love the energy, I love the vibe. You are so natural with it. And you I've heard you freestyle before. You are so talented and you're such a good writer as well. Mm. You're just so cool, man. I mm. really wish all the best for you and you. you're gonna go far. I really Definitely. That. Thank you. Great reviews there, you know, and you came prepared. Tell me, why did you choose that song? Well, first of all, I have to say I've got a very good team behind me and uh on some serious, seriously legit advice, I took it into consideration and uh, it turned out for the best. It worked out. So at this stage, do you think you've done enough to push you to the next phase? I'm pretty confident. I think I did uh, good enough, I think. Joel Thompson, well done. The Icon Zambia season one has brought to the fore what God has given to this country. Yes. This guy is one hell of a singer. I can tell you in my four decades in music, he stands right there. He's one of the greatest singers this country has ever produced. Singing a song that was made popular by my grandchild Wesi, Translate, written originally by Zone Farm. Let's give a round of applause to the talented, talented Kalangwa. As performances, I've been doing most of the slow songs. So in this performance, I just want to show myself how flexible and versatile I am. So I just want to show them I can also do a fast song. I can also dance. Apart from, you know, driving people in those smooth motions and stuff, you can also make them dance. I, I don't think I've experienced so much love in that, but I can dedicate this song to people that I care about. Let me say my family, my mom, you know. It's not only a love song to those that, you know, are in a relationship like girlfriend and boyfriend, husband and wife. No, you can also dedicate it to someone that you love. Some, you, just you embracing your love for someone. My outfit simply shows how proud I am to be a Zambian in representing Zambia worldwide. The things you do in all the dance flow I'm love turn the body here and us I wanna comfort and touch Say ta la 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 Say ta la 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 ta Sugar Hey! I'm going to start with you, Dave, Listen, Ronnie, break it down. Listen, Simon, Kalangwa, Britain has got talent. South Africa has idols. Zambia has the icon. And you, my friend, iconic to the eye. You see what I did there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Instead of to the T, <laughs> yeah. iconic to the eye. To the eye. That's a good Kalangwa, one. you... See, when, when I travel the world and people say, uh, what's Zambia got to offer? Anyway, you've seen 
That's what Zan has to offer. You are phenomenal, phenomenal. Capital P, capital Chan, D, right. and the, the alphabet. <laughs> Ruth Ronnie. Wow. Somebody get the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless. You are such an amazing singer, such an amazing performer. You, your, your vocal gymnastics are just out of this world. You are so much, such man. a talented vocalist. You can do whistle notes, right? That is, you don't understand how crazy that is. That is so amazing. You are so blessed. Thank you so much. Wow. Do you know, my only worry is with you, Kalangwa, is you constantly have to beat yourself. So I'm, I'm thinking that when you do the next round, uh, which, uh, what's the theme? The theme for the next round, I'm wondering, how is he going to beat himself? And you have to keep going because your next performance has to be better than your last performance and so on and so forth. So, like, I just can't wait to see what you do next. Incredible. Guys, well done. High five. Amazing. Well yeah. done. I, I, Where's he? I, you were not there when I was introducing you. I've been around four decades. One of the greatest singers this country has ever known is Kalango. Wow. <laughs> One of the greatest is four decades of meeting all sorts of musicians. And the icon has managed to expose you to the country and to the world. I can't wait for you to actually record songs, yes. to do an, a whole album where I don't listen to you for just 90 minutes because I want to hear more. I always want to hear more. And you can, do, you can do it all. You can do jumps. You can do it relaxed. I'm looking forward to your album. Wow, thank you so much. Well, may I, if you would allow me? I heard that you have a sister in this competition. Yes. So really? Tell us about that. Who's Not your sister? Not Shama Daka. Shama is your sister? Yes, sir. Shama. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. So can you understand the gymnastics? That's amazing. It's in the family. It's yes. all in the family. It's in the family. Yeah. 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 Um, delete what I said. Vicky, say something. <laughs> Ignore everything I just uh, said. You know, it is, it, it, because of uh, you were doing her version of the Zone Farm written song, you know, she's, but say something. Come on. Zambia. I want to say thank you, Kalanga, for this opportunity, Icon and everything. Let me say thank you to Zone Farm for creating that song because it helped my career in such a way that if I didn't cover it, m many people wouldn't have known me. And maybe this version wouldn't have existed with Kalanga. So shout outs to Zone Farm, Kalanga. I couldn't have done it better myself. Salute. Wow. Salute to Zone That's Fam. amazing. So, how does that make you feel when you hear them talk like that? Well, that motivates me to work even more harder than this. Yes, so I'm going to prove each and every point that they say you're right and take Zambia to the world. And it starts from here, the icon Zambia. And, and you think you've done enough tonight to, to push you to the next level? I'm so certain that I've done enough. Well, we'll wait and see. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Superstar. Superstar. <laughs> So uh, apparently Bean Todd will be doing Zambian songs for this episode. I thought to eat because I've been doing a lot of these international artists like Mariah, Whitney. So I thought of bringing the Zambian me out. So yeah, I decided to do Jehovah because I feel like it brings out me. I'm open for anything anyway concerning with, with the, the style. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I'm one person who loves uh, being taught the truth. It's not all the time where you get to be right and correct. So me meeting the judges and them sitting there and at least giving me an advice on my soul, I've really learned a lot. Trust me, I have. All I can say is, watch out for me. I'm bringing in my A game.
Shama Daka, Shama Daka, Shama. How many times did I call your name? Three times, guess. That is the best rendition of Jehovah I've heard. You are amazing. Beautiful. You are such a vocal powerhouse. Ugh, more Thank than a vocal, so vocal prodigy. I love you so much. Thank you. If I, I was with you, I'd cry, but my tears are so far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I were you, I'd cry, but I don't know where my tears. Someone stole my tears. Where's he? Thank you for what you've done. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You showed a different side. You were playful. You were happy. In other times, we could see your voice and your ability. This time, you were having fun. You know, and that's the way it should be. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. They love you, and that was a fantastic performance. Thank you. So tell me. Do you think you've done enough to get to the next phase of the of the competition, knowing what they've said? Um, so um apparently I was I was in my emotions because my voice is kind of weird right now. So I was like just praying to God if this will definitely work out. And I feel like I I did my best. I, I yeah, I did so. And I think you did. Yeah. Thank you. Shama! Thank you so much. We wish you the best. Thank you. Exile and Chameleon did a song together titled It's All Right. And today we get the opportunity to hear a cover by Emmanuel Muleva. I'm looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emmanuel. My biggest dream in this life or the next is actually seeing Zambia Zambia heard out there because it has so much, but then it it it, it, it isn't so much out there. So Zambia kuchala, like I always love Zambian stuff. I do a lot of kalindula, a lot of because it it brings me home. So Zambia kuchala is uh, this could be my best segment of the show. What drives my passion for music? Um, it's the love I have for it, and uh, again. It's by seeing how much, how powerful music is, in that it works in so many different ways. Sometimes it speaks to the broken, speaks to people that need a happy time. It speaks situations of people who are going through situations. And it, it also provides revenue for, for the people around. So it's, it's a very powerful tool. So that's what gives me No. For them said that she's a bad girl I mean no girl to me a good girl Mao yako baby ama nisekesa over We over kudala vina pita Iba lako Sambela muse kumuti mao sankala bize Take it easy Just relax Nilange mumanso Vela, vela that's the only thing that matters. Niku iba la vili von se fakudala. Don't cry, dry your eyes. Girl, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. 
Usini funozi va ve una chita kodana na le mo bon vela vela chachi kulu uli na ine manje it's all right sini funa vo vela vela baby it's all right baby girl it's okay uh, it's all right Sini funo ziva ve una chita kodala na le ma bon vela vela chachi kulu uli na ine manje it's alright. Sini funa bon vela vela baby it's alright. Girl it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's first hear from Team Kazadi and Ronnie. What do you think? I love the texture of your voice. It's very rich. That's just so pleasant to listen to. And your vocal control is amazing. Well done. Thank you so much. Dave. Emmanuel, uh, you're a rarity. You know? You know what that means? Like, there's, there's not many like you in the world. In the world. There's not enough artists who sing the way that you do, with the texture that you do. I get it. Wesley, I absolutely get it. Wesley's in love with you and your entire artistry and she's been talking about it the whole time. And I get it. You are who she says you are. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Team related. Um, he can do it all. This is, again, we are in safe hands with the, with the future of Zambian music. This man can play instruments. He can sing. He has the look. Um, I hope he can control himself with the women that will throw themselves at you. I, <laughs> Starting I, with I, the stable. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, uh, he, you Don't need to control yourself because you have that that magnetic power that you, you know, you, you're going to, you, you know, you have to go through it sometimes to understand it. Where is he? Yeah, that's it. Well done. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much, Ma. They all like you. Why did sure. you choose that song? Um... I choose that song because I sing it it's most of like the cats. times. And uh, it's a song that actually describes somebody who's been misunderstood because of their past. And then not realizing that when growing up, we all, we all actually make mistakes. And then the past is the past. What's important is the present and the future. So that's why I love that song. Now, do you think you've done enough to move to the next phase of the, the competition? I've given it my best shot, but the best is yet to come. If I'm still here. Best is yet to come. Definitely. Wish you the best. Sure. Thank Good you. Good job. Coming up is Brittany Bunda performing one of my favorite female Zambian rappers song for Kunyuka. And this song was originally done by Bombshell. And Brittany Bunda goes by the stage name Shigelo Chapazi. Ladies and gentlemen. So the theme is Zambia Kuchalo, right? And I was trying to also have something that has vernac in it. I feel like Bombshell has, to me, personally, my opinion. I think she's like the hardest female rapper. I mean, some of the great is also a phenomenal um, artist, but you know, she, we're talking about Zambia. I mean, obviously somebody, okay, listen. Somebody's doing a song for the great song, right? But I'm talking about Bombshell. I, I just feel like it's our time, you know? Like there's no other time better than now. I wish I could wear something more Zambian themed, but um, I guess that's gonna be for the next performances. If I don't let it, I'm a his enemy. Just cause I won't let little nigga enemy. Can't get near me, nigga can't body me. You ain't a friend of me, nigga, you's afraid of me. Practice what you preach. Like great heights, nigga, I'm out of reach. Eda, eda, nigga, bitch, quit out. Nin she won't live while I couldn't quit out. That body, six feet in the pot, daddy. I don't see if we're going to new cap. Just, 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 I can do it, just. That was good. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, judges. Ballad, Wesley, what do you think? I'll start by taking, well, declaring interest that um, that song was done by her cousin, my grandchild. We're all related. Oh, wow. She sings it all. Yeah, my crap. That's her name. It's her cousin. So I'm, I'm, I'm name dropping deliberately. Um, that said, she actually performs it at home, <laughs> at functions at home. Um, that said, your performance is something else, something else in a positive way, oh, okay. in a positive way. <laughs> There's a, an artist called James Brown. Oh, yeah. When he gets to a crescendo of a song, he would throw his jacket just the way you did. Oh. So that's why I say it's like James Brown. Um, everything there, you sell, you, you represent selling. Everything about you sells, the way you stand, the way you present yourself, and the way you just ignored me and said hi, Kazadi, and to me said, hi, old man. <laughs> Sorry, you know, no, like, no. yeah. Oh, we met earlier this morning. We did? Yeah. And I said hello, and I called you to get Oh, all right. Yeah. But I like it, and I think that I don't even have to say to the Zambians, um, um, vote for her, because they will. Oh, I'm done. Sweet. Thank you. Wesley? I loved it. Congratulations on a good performance. Thank you. Team Kazadi and Ronnie. I really, really loved it. And you did me proud. I love the look. I love everything. Congrats. Thank you. Well, to be honest, <clears throat> Mr. Ballad, she didn't really say hi, Kazadi. She said hi, Zadi. Let me teach you a couple things. Let me teach you a couple of things. That's not the same thing. thing. <laughs> she was trying to communicate something. Oh, God, Zad, no. listen up. Uh, you're hearing it from you're hearing from Kazadi. Yeah? Oh, this God. girl deserves to be here. Brittany, you are phenomenal. You're beautiful. Thank you. you. You are iconic. Okay? And everyone at home should vote for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And call me Zadi again. No. So Brittany, after hearing all that. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel good. I think I could have done better, but it makes me feel good, sorry. Yeah. 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 And why did you choose that song? Honestly, because of um, the, vibe. the vibe. Just the vibe, the energy, everything. Yeah. Wonderful. Right. Brittany, thank you so much. Wow. Good luck. Thank you. Brittany. I <laughs> Being able to reach people through my voice is what drives me. I feel like it's a great ability to be able to reach people's emotions through singing. I feel like it goes well with my voice and it's the type of music that I would love to do and it suits my voice, my type of voice. And also, Wazy is my idol. <laughs> I do have an experience, but I kind of feel like my personality or the type of passion that I have with music connects with the song that I chose. Tiwepo. Tiwepo. Nivani akukuja Nivani sapato kumendo Nivani akupa mutenge wanganda ulala pani Auso
um, Kasazi. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. We don't do. Yo! <sighs> Where have you been? Is the question. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, mm. Cut the cameras. Mm. Mm. Where? 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 Is that Sia? Is that Sia? You're incredible. See. You're that good. That good. That's it, you did that all. Ah. Uh, We're all speechless, uh, as you can see. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Simon, can you come and help us? Uh, I'm going to give her a hug. Yeah. Oh, she's gone as well. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Kasazi, um, you are what this competition is for, you, there's nothing left to say, okay? What I'm gonna say is to the people back home, if you know what is good, if you know what is right, and if you know what Zambia needs, it's Kasazi. Grab your phones, vote for her. This entire competition was created for people like her. And that's it. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Hi, it's your girl Sazi. I need your guys' votes. To vote for me, you can simply dial star 488 star 0 star 6 hash. Keep me in the game, guys. I need this. Hello there at home. My name is Ben Liwakala, aka Ben Beto Worldwide. Guys, I'm actually at the Icon Zambia. So I need to be in the game. By you keeping me in the game, you only need to vote for me by dialing star 488 star 0 star, then my number is 2 then hush, then you send. Once you do that, you're keeping me in the game. Remember, my win is your win. I love you so much. See you on the other side. Hello, my Zambian people. It's your girl, Mary Luhila, and I'm here to ask you, Zambian people, to vote for me by dialing star 488 star zero star 17 hash. I'll be very grateful and I promise to make you proud. So dial that number and vote for Mary Luhila. Mabanga Mwane, it's your boy Cheating Kole, aka LSK Wayne, and you are watching Icon Zambia. And guess what? The time for voting has arrived. So if you're trying to vote for your boy and you want me to bring this money back home, all you have to do is just dial star 488 star zero star three hash. And that's it. We're bringing the money home, baby. Hi, this is Ismeda and yes, I made it through the last few episodes and to keep me here, use the code star 488 star 0 star 14 hash. Hi, this is Samuel Banda on The Icon. Um, to vote, to keep your brother on the show. Once about Copper Belt, we're here representing Kitwe, we're representing Lusaka, we're representing the people. To vote to keep me in this competition, dial star 488 star 0 star 9 hash. Keep the brother going, guys. Cheers. 
Hi, my name is Ndanji Jane Nalungwe and I'm here to tell you that I'm at a round now where you can vote for me. I really, really hope you can keep me in the game. I will really appreciate it. And I mean really, like really, really. Emphasis on the real. But yes, you can dial star 488 star 0 star 19 hash. I'm counting on you, so please. I'm asking nicely. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Raymond Namomba, AKA the Platinum Soldier, hardest rapper in Chalala Streets. I am kindly asking for you guys to vote for me by dialing star 488 star 0 star 7 hash. Na papa tia, na romba, na romba, na pimpa. Please vote for me. Yo boy. What's good, people? What's good? It's yours truly, the gent, Arthur Kayumba, all right? So what you have to do is very simple. To vote for me, all you have to do is dial star, 488 star, zero star, 11, that's one one, hash and send. I'll say that one more time. That's star, 488 star, zero star, 11, hash and send. And that's all you have to do to keep me in the competition. I'll do you proud, vote, 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 and see me all the way through. Hello, hi. My name is Anthony Ramsey a.k.a. Magamba the Rapnet. I'm out here at the Akon Zambia. To vote for me, you need to dial star four, eight, eight, star zero, star one, ash. Vote for your number one contestant, Magamba the Rapnet. Icon Zambia, Chalo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the baddest guy on the planet, M-E-L-O, Melo 3000. But here on the Icon, I am known as Miriam Chilala, I am asking you to vote for me and make me your next icon because you know, if you save one life, I get to save you in the next near future. From Azabuka, Southern Province, Solways, Kuchpata, Konsa, Konsa, please, guys, make a girl's dream come true. All you have to do, in case you're wondering, how do I vote for this young chap? It's very simple. All you have to do is dial star. 488 star zero hashtag my number is 18 i do repeat 18 and then you put a hash when i meant hashtag i did not mean you put the hash before the 18 so it's star 488 star zero star 18 and then that's when you put the hash and then confirm and then make me the next icon get to celebrate peace and love hi guys richard here aka nemo the fish the only fish that was found well guys, the competition is up to you and I now. Only you guys can keep me in the game by dialing star 488 hash, star zero, star eight hash. That's my code, vote for me, keep me in the game. See you guys. Wagwan Icon and Iconets. This is your boy Jarrell Thompson, AKA Dagger. Um, I'm gonna need you guys' help, yo. I need you guys to keep me in the game. It's all on you guys now. Simply dial star 488 star zero star 16 hash. Bless up. What's up everybody? It's your boy Kalango, hashtag NK Sings. I'm gonna ask you guys to vote for me as your icon Zambia for season one by dialing star 488 star zero star five hash. Hi Zed and beyond. My names are Brittany Wunda, commonly known as Chigelo Chapazed, and if you rock with me, you can support me by dialing star 488 star 0 star 13 hash. That's star 488 star 0 one three hash. Thank you. I'm watch the shine your boy. It's a boy, Imano Muleva, aka Carlos Mule. So I want you guys to keep me in the game if you enjoy what's going on. So you can only keep me in the game by voting for me on the numbers star 488 star zero star four hash na papata wakopala wa zambia tieni na Hi everybody, it's your girl Shama Daka Mulibwanji Mulishani Mwalibia. I'm here to please beg for you to vote for me by dialing star 488 star 0 star 20 hash. And you'll keep going, the girl. Thank you. <laughs> 